हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ पार्थ सारथी दास माई सेल्फ होस्टिंग फॉर द फॉर म फॉर आवर यूट्यूब चैनल कंप्यूटर टेक्निक्स एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू ए फाइव एट टू जीरो प्रिंटर इट्स बीइंग टेन फाइव एट टू जीरो प्रिंटर इट्स प्रॉब्लम इज व्हेन वी जेरोक्स कॉपी वी जेरोक्स ब्लैक इट प्रिंट्स ब्लैक प्रॉपरली बट व्हेन वी जेरोक्स कलर कॉपी द कलर इज फ्लिकरिंग द कलर इज मिस मैचिंग सो न फर्स्ट लेट अस सी व्हाट इज द प्रॉब्लम द प्रिंटर इज इन रेडी मोड Let's start. We have put a color photo, color paper down towards the mirror. Let's start. Color copy. And it's copying now. now copying color copy what is the original color what is the xerox this is the xerox copy um this is the original photocopy the difference between this one is the xerox copy which is missing blue color and yellow also so now let us see what is the problem sorry we have seen the problem actually we have to see open the printer and see what is the inner problem maybe ink stuck or cartridge jam let us see now open the printer now we are going to open the printer there are four nuts Side when we down the cover, another is on right side, and two is on back side. We have opened four knots and just switch up the printer. connect the power cable now pick the scanner assembly towards you slowly under that you have to one is scanner cable one is display panel cable which you have to remove very carefully this is the scanner cable and this one is the This one is the display cable. You have to you have to pull pull it carefully. And it's open. Now we can freely pick up the scanner assembly. Okay. Let's see what is the problem. The problem is the yellow color is not flowing, and the pink color is also not. flowing in the pipe system wherever the ink tank switch is open but the red but the red color and white 
yellow color is missing here both are missing yellow and pink so the color is flickering and the printer is too much dust also you can see there is full of dust these are the dust printer we have to disassemble the printer and clean it properly you can see how much dust there is a huge amount of wastage ink in the ink system wastage ink tank so we have first we have to first disassemble the printer completely and clean it properly and then through syringe pull the yellow and pink ink to the printed point then it will be gone it will be print all light so let's start first we have to open the logic card it's basically there are two knots we have to open these two knots very carefully because these uh, uh, strip cables are detachable so be careful when you pull the control panels connector this is the door sensor door sensor assembly you have to open this through this nut one t10 every nut belongs to t10 so only t10 screwdriver is sufficient to open this printer uh, this is the door door assembly door sensor assembly Pull it carefully. You can look. This is the door sensor. Okay. Now, logic card has been opened. We have to disconnect these connectors and cables and carriage cables. connected all the cables of logic card the logic card is completely removed from the printer now we have to remove this carriage assembly unit there are three nuts one is here one is here and another is here so first this one left side top second just pull the pickup assembly towards you first we have to open also the carriage printed printed cover printed carriage cover open unit there are two nuts first you have to when you are opening the printer you have to lock the ink system first but we have forgotten, I have forgotten to show about that. No problem. Because lastly we have to pumping this ink through syringe. So it's locked or not locked, it does not matter. But after the printer is ready, we should lock it when there is no print. When the printer is required printer, then we will only open this ink tank lock system let's start then we have opened these two covers and just push the cartridge towards down the 
garage unit garage top ink unit garage unit top ink unit which is fixed with which is detachable fixed with this pipe system and there are two locks and here you have to push it outside open it there are two types of lock two locks this type of there are this type of two locks one is here one is here you have to completely detach the ink system also and there is also a knot under the cartridge door assembly here is that knot Discharge the pipe system completely. Yeah, this is open. And the pipe system is completely open. And you have to also remove this pipes front front uh, from the carriage nozzle. You have to remove this pipe face from the carriage nozzle smoothly. You have to open this nut and remove these four pipes. You have to pull it towards you, these pipes. systems are completely unlocked there are also two knots to open this ink tank one is here and another is here in this box type hole these are all T10 knots there are also two knots under the cover, under the back cover. So you have to open it also. One is this. This is the downside of the printer downside of the ink tank we have also open these nuts three nuts and another is four nuts there are four nuts linked with ink tank system now the ink tank is completely nutless you can pull it towards you system is ink tank is completely detached we have locked we have locked the ink system so that ink cannot flow and, and it's separate we have already opened these three knots of carriage unit which carries the printed Firstly, I have said that they, they, there is a lock 
between here the knots down so be careful so put the see the main main items are open and you will also have to open these units this is called the door sensor unit there are four knots also one is here one is here and there are two knots down towards through the printer now it's the door sensor is released also there is also a, another tray sensor tray nut we have to open to completely remove the door assembly Look. the paper tray output paper tray nut has been released we have to now all knots are open you can pull the complete door assembly towards you and it's open both sides paper output tray by push towards ground and the lock is released the output tray has been separated now you can see the completely paper tray the door unit the paper tray is disassembled disassembled now you have to also open these nuts 1 2 3 4 this is for releasing this output paper guide tray beginners can open this printer but it will take some time so please carefully see the video and open the printer it is the proper way to open any type of HP ink tank 416 5810-5820-415 series 319 series all methods are same same all opening methods are same for this printer now you can see the paper output Tray. the paper output lever cap is completely disassembled and you have to also open these three nuts two nuts one is here and another is here you open these two nuts which can remove the motor units is also connected with this 
main paper roller system this roller is connected with this roller system and the unit is completely processed by this this is the main roller main pickup roller is it also had a sensor paper sensor you can see after the completely the attachment i will show you the paper sensor also paper tray sensor and the two open has been the two knots has been open and you have to release also this this lock pull towards you and left stop and it is released it is some typical case so be careful when you are doing it will drop the gear class so be careful the main roller towards the gear side slowly so it does not hamper the gear or the main roller and now it's free now it's free yeah this is the main roller gear which connect to the sub gears through this Everything has been opened. The printer is the cable also has yeah, binded. We have to release the cable. And this motor system, paper pickup motor system is also free. There are also two springs which you have to put carefully. there is problem review the video and see two to three times then you can open a printer properly you can open any HP ink tank printer properly you have to release this spring and this is the rubber belt of the main motor system and there are also a sensor paper sensor down to the yeah so first you have to open the clean it properly there are two locks there are two locks one is here one is here you have to just release the lock and the paper sensor will be you can see so many dust so we have to clean the proper we have to clean the printer properly mm, it should be in water no problem you have to clean the Printer. Printer. Completely. It's so many ink waste. So we have to. clean it with water there is no electrical part and another electrical parts there is this paper sensor unit we have to detach 
as it also there are one back there is one not down sides to the paper sensor unit input paper sensor unit now it's free you can like release this sensor is free next we have to open the power supply also it is also it will also damage with water so be careful we have to remove the power supply paper input sensor logic card carriage assembly and door assembly we have to disassembly disassemble these parts completely after that we can clean it through water. The power supply. This is the power supply which we have released. This is the backside input paper sensor unit. Um, this is the motor unit which pick up the paper. This is carrot unit logic card and paper door sensor assembly. So friends, this is the technique how to open any HP ink tank printer. The next video in the next video I'll show you how to Assemble HP ink tank printer like 58205810419319 any HP ink tank printer. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. If you like my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.